Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carden. I'm a photographer and digital artist and welcome to a free uh, YouTube Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to be doing a, a fun project all in Photoshop and I hope that you enjoy it. Um, this is this one is free. This is for YouTube and uh, I'm just uh, hoping that you're going to be able to, to learn a lot from this one and uh, just hope that you enjoy uh, learning about Photoshop and how to you know really make your art uh, improve and uh, think outside the box and do some really creative artwork. Uh, if you are interested in more in-depth tutorials besides this free one, you can go to uh, the link below to my Gumroad account where I have a bunch of uh, more advanced uh, Photoshop tutorials. But let's go ahead and dive into this one today. This is going to be um, a picture of a Bible. So this is a picture uh, that I took. This is uh, an old Bible. I took a picture of it. And uh, uh, most of these images that I use today, they're going to be on free stock websites like uh, Unsplash or Pixabay.com. Uh, this one, for example, is on Pixabay. You can go there and download. This is that, my actual picture. You can download this one, or you can use your own pictures as well. But what I'm envisioning here is um, I'm thinking like the pages of the Bible here. I'm thinking like turning the top of them to like grass. So I'm envisioning like some grass on top of the Bible, but then I also want to have like a hole like right in the middle and then maybe have like a little ladder coming out from this hole. And so it's kind of like you're going down in to the pages, like you're, you're going to be diving down deep into it. And um, I think it'd be kind of neat, like... Uh, We'll kind of draw out a hole in the grass and like imagine like someone had a shovel and they're digging out this big hole and they're going deep into the ground. And so when you do that, you know, obviously you're going to have a lot of dirt. Uh, so we need to have like a little dirt, uh, like dirt rocks and dirt piles and stuff like that um, over here as well. So that's kind of the, the picture that I'm envisioning. Um, obviously, we need to change the sky as well. Uh, right now, I just took it in a black, uh, just a black background, and uh, that's kind of boring. So we're going to change the sky. Uh, but I really want to have like this uh, this grass on top of the uh, the Bible, and then uh, the dirt pile, then the ladder and the hole. And uh, I think that'll be a kind of a, a fun little project to do. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, I really don't um, know how this is going to look. And so a lot of this uh, video is just going to be me like, trying things and maybe they work and maybe they don't work, but I hope that that is still uh, helpful to you guys so that you can just watch me and watch me make mistakes because there will be quite a bit of them. Uh, first of all, let me make sure I get my composite composition the right way I want it. I'm thinking something kind of like this. The Bible's mostly centered there. Um, we could, you know, make this into a more of a square image if we wanted to, but I think right now I'm just going to leave it um, like this. Now, so what I want to do is uh, we need to go get, um, first of all, we'll start off these one elements at a time. We'll start off with the grass. Um, so what I want to do is um, I'm going to need to go to, we'll just start off with Unsplash. Unsplash is great. So I'll just go and bring my browser in here. So on unsplash.com, um, you can find a bunch of pictures. And I actually have a bunch of pictures of grass that I could use as well. Any, anytime I see a grass field, I just go out and take pictures of it. So I have a bunch, but you may not have a bunch. And so I want to type in grass field here on my um, browser here. And let's try to find um, a picture that I think will work out pretty well. And so... Um, I probably should have went through these before we started our tutorial, but that'll be fine. And also we're going to have a big hole in the grass too. So it's going to be, you know, probably good to make sure there's not, um, you know, it's not terribly tall grass. We need to have a little bit shorter grass. So I think this grass right here looks pretty good. Okay, so we're going to use this one right here. I'm just going to go and hit my download button, and then it's going to download it, and I'm going to bring it directly into Photoshop. So this picture right here, I think is going to work. If it doesn't work, you know, we'll, you know, we'll get a different one. But I think this one's going to work. So I'm just going to bring it right in here, and I think that's going to work pretty good. So before we, you know, before we start to um, put this on to the uh, the pages of the the Bible. Uh, we've got to do a little bit of work first. And so what we want to do is I'm going to zoom in here 
And um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use a pen tool. You might want to use a different tool, but I'm going to use a pen tool. And I am just going to select out the um, this top part, the, the top part of these pages right here. So um, just the part that's white, like the open page, the page that you can read, essentially. Um, I'm just going to bring uh, the pen tool and select out this little section here. I'm trying to to get as close as I can, but it actually doesn't matter if you're off just a little bit. If you are going to be off, you probably should be off on the bottom side of it rather than the the top side because you want to make sure all of this white is going to be covered. Uh, but all I'm using just the pen tool. You may have a different selection technique. You may want to try the quick select tool um, if that's what you want to do. But pen tool is is not not a bad option. And then when you get to these straight lines, that helps really well. But all of this selection that I'm, I'm, you know, I'm selecting right now, this is going to be the grass area. Let's do this. Now it is getting a little tricky up here because you can see that with my camera, my focal uh, point was the center of this Bible. And as you get further away from the camera, it starts to get a little bit blurry. Um, so it's a little bit harder to select out something that's blurry, but that's okay. Because we will probably blur this part of the selection later. And the black part above this is going to be the sky as well. Now, since this top part of the uh, Bible is, is blurry because it's further away from the camera then that means that the sky is going to have to be blurry as well. So if you have a blurry background and you have a blurry, you know, edge of the paper, uh, I don't think it's going to matter. We'll, we'll be able to blend those together pretty well. All right, let's go ahead and make our selection. And now we have our nice selection over that. I'm just going to go ahead and do control C on my keyboard and control shift and V. And that's going to paste it on a new layer right where it needs to be. Let's just go ahead and call this top pages. And uh, that's that's a good start. So now what we want to do is we want to go to um, our grass layer here. And I want to clip it to that top pages. So control alt and G will clip it to that top pages layer that I have below. And now it goes directly on there. But I'm thinking since I'm going to put the hole on this side, I'm thinking we're going to have to transform it this way. I think that's going to look a little bit better. So I'm going to make it just big enough to make sure it fits on here. Your gra If you use a different layer of grass, that's perfectly fine. Um, but, you know, just to, just make sure you fill the entire uh, portion here. And I think that, I think that looks, I think that looks pretty good right there. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to make sure that this grass, you can see the pages, like it, it, the pages are flat mostly until you get to the spine of the book and they start to go down. This, gla this grass right here is just really flat. And so we need to make sure um, that this part of the grass is, um, is going down as well. And so there's multiple ways to do that. Uh, we could try the warp tool. Let's see here. I don't know if the warp, I think the warp tool... Let's try with the warp tool. Let's make a tighter. I'm going to try this technique first. Let's do warp tool. No, nope, it's going to cut it off like that. Okay, so let's try it this way then. Let's do a um, liquefy. Let's do liquefy, but let's also show our backdrop so we can see what we're looking at. And essentially what we want to do is we want to take our liquefy and we just want to make it look like it's going down. So I'm just using my brush and I'm kind of painting down on these edges here. And that's going to make it look like it's going down into that crease. So I'm just kind of painting uh, to make it look like, look at, like it's going down just a little bit. Let's see how that looks. Okay, that wasn't very much of an effect. So let's make sure we bring it more. Sometimes it's a little bit hard when you're doing liquefy and you're trying to look at the background. Don't know if I'm making a big enough difference here. Let's 
The warp tool does work sometimes, but I think for this one, liquify is probably going to work the best. And you may not even be able to see what you're what I'm doing on your computer or your screen, but I'm just essentially just bringing down part of that grass uh, into that spine. So let's go ahead and click OK and see what it looks like. So you can see before and after. You can see just um, there we go. All right, you can see what it, it's done there. It's kind of like brought them down in a little bit. I could probably spend a little bit more time on it. Let me just try the warp again and just like bring it up a little bit here. Okay, I think that's gonna be I think that's going to be good enough for now because we're going to be actually adding a bunch of dirt and all this other kind of stuff on here too. So I don't think it's going to matter too much. You could try the smudge tool too, but the smudge tool just, it, it's generally just, it just messes too many of the pixels up. So I think the liquify works a little bit better. All right. So that, that's one, one part of it. The next thing you need to do is you see this little shadow um, that's down here at the bottom because the light doesn't get in there as much. And so there's going to be a shadow right here. So what we want to do is just make a new layer and we'll just call this uh, seam. I don't know if seam is the right word, seam shadow. And uh, I'm just going to get a black or a dark gray and change it to multiply. And uh, I'm just going to uh, make sure I put a, a shadow right in here where this, uh, this book is that now I don't have to be exactly like this shadow down here. The shadow down here is like really skinny. Um, I don't have to necessarily do it like that, but I do need to make sure the darkest part of it is down in here and it gets like smaller and smaller. So kind of like that. So I need to make sure I can, I can still have a shadow like up in here and that's perfectly fine. I just need to make sure that the darkest part of the shadow is right there in the, the middle, something like there. Okay, so here's that before and after, no shadow with the shadow. It just makes it look so much better like that. Okay, so that's that looks good so far. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and save this file uh, because saving is important. Um, so now what we want to do is we want to, um, we want to go ahead and change the sky. I think changing the sky is gonna be good. Now, if you notice when I took this picture, um, when I took a picture of the Bible, um, you can see that I had like a little light source up here and see it's casting this little shadow down here. So you see like the light source is pretty high, uh, but it's definitely further back. So like it's, it's on the other side of the Bible aiming towards the camera and it casts this little shadow right here. And so that kind of mimics like a sunset type picture. And then of course the grass picture, um, it, the shadows aren't very long. It looks like you could um, use this picture for, for pretty much any type of background. Um, but I think if we did a sunset background, I think that would be uh, very helpful. So let's go ahead and look for that on Unsplash. Let's look for sunset. And let's try to find us a nice little picture of sunset. These are not exactly what I want. Let's look for... Dusk, maybe not dusk. Okay, let's look up sky. <laughs> maybe sky will be good. I definitely want that sun to be behind the Bible. Okay, let's try this one right here. You may you may choose a different one, perfectly fine. But I think this one right here looks good. Okay, so it is a vertical picture, but that's okay. So what we're gonna do is we're going to bring this in here and um, I'm actually probably going to stretch it out just a little bit like that. Okay. And that's going to be our background. So I could change that blend mode to lighten, for example. And um, it, that, that's about where it would go. And I can even leave those mountains in there a little bit. Let's just, and I am making it a lot bigger, which sometimes that pixelates your image. But since I'm going to be blurring it, I don't think it, it matters too much. But I think about right in there is where it needs to go. Now, I can't even see those clouds, so that's kind of frustrating. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can make it a little bit darker. I'm going to go to Adjustments, Highlights. I'm going to bring my highlights in just a little bit. 
Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, so I'm just going to bring my highlights in. We're going to be blurring this thing anyway, so it's not a big deal. Okay, now I just got to figure out where I want to put it. I think in... Well, well, well. All right, I think somewhere right in here is probably fine. Just like that. Now the blacks are a little bit too black for me, so I want to make those just a little bit less intense. So I'm just going to bring that down. All right, and then I want to make sure I get rid of it down here. So just get a layer mask and just kind of erase uh, these parts of the the, the bottom because we don't want the sky layer to be there. Now I've got to change the blend mode to screen. We could also try lighten. Which one works better? I think either one of those works fine. I'm going to use it at screen for now. And just make sure it's not down here. Okay, so that that's not bad. That's not bad. All right, so let's go ahead and work on this hole. So we want to go ahead and figure out where our hole is going to be. And uh, we're probably just going to do a lot of painting. So I'm just going to get me a nice little brown color. And let's just figure out where we want our hole to be. I think somewhere like right in here would be good. Of course, when you're doing your own project, you can... You can decide where it goes. I do we want to make sure it's big enough, you know, to hold a human being going down into it, uh, holding a ladder, etc. So I do want to make sure it's big enough. Uh, you know, I'm kind of making it elongated here because, you know, of the angle of the angle of the picture, the picture is taken. So it would be kind of elongate, el elongated, more like an oval than anything else. But I do want to make sure that um, there's enough room for a ladder. I think that's a good starting point for our hole. Let's go ahead and add the ladder in. Uh, probably gonna do more work on the ladder later, but I just wanna have like a little idea of where it's going to be. So something kinda like that. It's probably gonna look a lot different. I just wanna make sure that I know where the ladder's gonna go and it's gonna make sense where it's at. So something kind of like that. And then of course the hole, and we work on, we're work going to work on the hole later, but let's, you know, let's make it look a little bit realistic. So we'd have a little bit darker around the edges, you know, something kind of like that. So something like that, you know, we're going to work on that later. I just want to, to visualize it. Sometimes it's just really helpful for me. Uh, to just go ahead and draw in those elements just so I have a good visualization of how things are going. Obviously, we need to have some little highlights on this ladder because uh, the sun is behind it. And so, like, it's going to have to be lit by one side. So maybe, for example, this side. And this side. Something like that. That's a really bad ladder, but you get the idea. Uh, that's about where the ladder is going to go. And now we need to add the dirt. And so for adding the dirt, what I was thinking is having like a big pile of dirt that's like just, you know, going all around this hole, maybe over here on the other side and have like a big pile of dirt right there. That's kind of what I was envisioning. So I need a pile of dirt and I actually looked all over um, I looked all over for, for free stock images for dirt and did not find very many, but I did have a picture that I took of dirt. And so I've uploaded this one to, uh, unsplash. Uh, I'm sorry, pixabay.com. I uploaded this one to pixabay. So you can get this one as well, but, uh, there's not a lot of pictures of dirt piles out there, but I did take a picture of this one. There was some construction, uh, in our city. And so I went out and took some pictures of the road and the, the uh, construction and the construction workers and stuff like that. And so I got a picture of a dirt pile. Didn't know what I was going to use it for, but today is that day. So uh, we're going to use this picture of a dirt pile. I'm going to bring it in here and uh, we're going to try to figure out where it needs to go. So first of all, let's get rid of the sky. Actually, let's just go and do a layer mask on it. 
I'm just going to do a layer mask and just erase everything except this dirt pile. So kind of like that. Okay. We'll go back in and fine tune that selection better in a little bit. But I just want to do that. So let me go ahead and figure out what size it needs to be. I want to make it sure it's higher than the higher than the grass. Definitely needs to be higher than the grass. It needs to be about the right size. I'm thinking It's a pretty big dirt pile. I'd probably say somewhere like right in here. Now, the problem is it's going to go over this little hump that, you know, we work so hard on. Uh, and that's okay. You know, it happens. But we're probably going to cut off some of this pile down here. Okay, so I'm thinking about right in here is good. And then we're going to cut it off. So let me go ahead and zoom in. And I'm just going to take a brush a lot of hardness here and uh, I'm just going to paint out this dirt pile. I'm not going to use the pen tool or anything like that. I could, uh, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to kind of follow it with a brush and just get rid of, get rid of the spots that don't need to be there. I like that. Okay, so now we just want it to go on one side of this. We just want it to go on one side. So I'm probably going to have to erase all of the, oops, not all of that. We're going to need to erase all of this over here. Kind of like that. Kind of like this. I don't want the dirt pile like going into the hole again that wouldn't be wouldn't make a lot of sense so maybe something like this and let me just make sure I when I cut this out I'm making like little bumps and stuff so it looks like little rocks little rocks are going down here okay And let me get rid of that little sketch in the background. Okay, so that's not bad right there. That's a big old dirt pile. It's a big old dirt pile. Okay, we're going to have to make it come off down here as well. Because it's going to get, I don't want it to like trickle off the pages of the, the Bible. I don't want it to do that. So kind of, you can, you know, you can shape these piles just with your layer mask, how you want them to go. So something like that. Let's get that stick out of there. We don't want that stick. And let's kind of do it like that. All right, that looks good, looks good. Okay, so let's back up and see how we look. I think that's that's not bad, that's not a bad start. Okay. All right, so now let's do this. What I'm going to do All right, so I think the best approach is something like this. I'm going to go ahead and apply that layer mask. So now I just have this big old hump right here. Let's make sure we get rid of all of these pieces. Okay, so I just want the dirt pile. Okay, I've got my dirt pile. That's all I've got. That's all I want. Uh, right there, and I can move it up or down, but I think I think right in there looks pretty good. Um, so now what I'm going to do, this is kind of a 
a little bit more complicated, but it's not it's not too hard to understand. Uh, we'll just call call this original pile. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into a group. All right, let me think this through. Okay, now this is okay. This is how I'm going to do it. This is going to sound a little bit overcomplicated, but let, this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to go ahead and control click my pile. So let's control click that. Now we have our little marching ants going everywhere. And I'm just going to go ahead and fill that to brown or any color. doesn't matter what color. I'm just going to fill it to brown. All right, so now I have this picture of this pile. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, this, uh, we'll just call this pile shape. I'm going to put the pile shape into a group. And so this is our um, pile. We'll call it our pile group. That's fine. Okay, so we've got our pile shape into a group, and then I've got my my dirt here, my original dirt. I'm going to clip it to that. Control Alt and G clips it to that. And so now what I have is I have it clipped to a group, um, and everywhere that group is at, um, this texture is going to go. So for example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this. Um, I'm going to extend. Uh, this dirt pile. So what I want to do is I'm going to go down to this pile group and I'm going to start just with a little brush. I'm just going to start painting uh, some little rocks and um, I don't even know if you can see them, but little bitty rocks that are like crumbling off of the uh, the dirt. So you can kind of see like little little bits and pieces of rocks. That are, it's kind of like the pile, you know, it's it's getting so big and so like at the bottom, the uh, the the, the largest piece of the rocks and the, the dirt are starting to like crumble down. They're falling down and they're going to different spots. But I'm essentially just making a bunch of dots everywhere. That's really all that's going on. I, it doesn't really matter what color. I keep changing the color, but it doesn't matter what color. And then so up here, obviously, you want some like little dots here like this. Try to make them look like rocks. I guess I could use a rock brush that has like rock shapes on it, but I think just just doing stuff like this is gonna be is gonna be fine. Cause we're gonna add grass over it later. But just like really just random little rocks and little pebbles here that have fallen off of the pile, especially down in here as we get down like towards the, the bottom of the crease here. And then just a few little random ones over here. But try to, you know, try to imagine if you were a rock and you were on top of a dirt pile, you know, a clump of rock, where would you go? Maybe something kind of like that. Okay, so I think something like that is probably okay. Uh, we'll just call those our clumps. And now what you do, so if you take away our original pile, you see this is what we've got. We've got the big old pile and then we've got these little clumps going everywhere. And so what you do is you go back to your original pile texture thing and you do control J on your keyboard, control J, and then control uh, Alt and G again, and it brings it back down. And then what you want to do is go down to this lower below and you just want to start dragging this, um, this pile. And you can just kind of like bring it uh, wherever you need it to bring it. So you can just bring it like right here. And now all of those little dots you uh, drew have all these little uh, textures on them. And then you can do that again. And then we can bring this one like over here. And now we have all these little textures on here. So it just, you know, you're just showing off uh, the rock, uh, little bits of rock going like that. But you're you're using the texture of that picture right there. So if you think that your little clumps don't look very good, just go back down there and uh, try to uh, paint them a little bit better. They're a little bit too circular for my taste. So try to make them look uh, like rocks. And you have that rock texture that's already applying to them. And so that's going to be, it's going to make it look a little bit more believable. Now we still have some issues of color and light and stuff like that. But for the most part, uh, this is a good uh, starting point. All righty. Oh, 
All right. So that that is not bad. It's not awesome, but it's not bad. Uh, so we have all these little clumps everywhere. So this is without the clumps. This is what your dirt pile looks like. This is with the clumps. And so I think that's a little bit of an improvement. Um, so yeah, I think that looks, I think that looks good like that. All right, but we need to take all of these layers and make them uh, change the light just a little bit. I think it's just a little bit too uh, dark up here on top. We need to have a little bit more light where that sunlight is hitting it. So I'm going to get a levels adjustment on top of all of these uh, dirt pile uh, pictures here. Let's go ahead and make our, um, let's make it a lot lighter. So I'm just going to bring my midtones up pretty high, maybe even my highlights like that, and maybe even my reds. Uh, just a little bit on the reds, and let's take out the blues and make it just a little bit more yellow, kind of like that. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to invert that. And so all I want to do is I want to make the top and edges of this um, dirt pile have that adjustment on it. So just paint white on that levels adjustment layer mask. And now what that's going to do is just going to make uh, different parts of this um, rock uh, dirt pile have this light hitting it. So especially like right over here where it's just too dark. It's kind of like that. Maybe like right up here. And you can make it the shape. You can definitely shape your dirt pile when you do stuff like this. Just adding a little bit of shadow and highlight in different places. Okay, so here's before and after. You can just see the little bit of uh, highlights here. We can add more too. You could just make a, a new layer on top of it, get a white, and then change it to like overlay. And then that's really going to make it look like it's in the, the sun is hitting it. Just got to make sure you paint it in the right spots or it's not going to look very good. All right. Definitely looks like the, the sunlight is hitting uh, different parts of these uh, dirt piles. And the parts that it's not hitting, it's got a nice little shadow on it. So something like that. All right, now let's add a shadow underneath it. So let's make it I'll go underneath the pile and we'll call a shadow here. And since the sun is behind it, we need to have some shadow. So I'm just going to get a brush, change it to multiply. And we're just going to paint on our grass layer here where it needs to be painted at. So this is obviously going to cast a shadow. So we want to make sure there is a shadow. especially like right down in here. There should be very little light hitting it right there. And then these little bitty clumps here, you know, it depends on how much of a perfectionist you are. You know, you can uh, make little shadows behind these as well if you want to. You know, that's going to be, you know, a little bit extra work here. But they are going to cast shadows. So, you know, they are going to cast them. All depends on how much you want to work for these pictures to get them to look the best that they can. I do feel like they are a little bit too dark, so I'm just going to make them a little bit brighter. Down in here. All right, there we go. And let's add just a little bit more shadow down here. And let's make this a little bit darker. All right, I think that looks not too bad, not too bad. Okay, um, now what we want to do is let's go to the pile, like the entire pile right here. I want to do a layer, um, 
layer mask on the entire pile. And I'm going to go to my brush, turn that off, and we're going to do some little uh, grass blades. We've done these a lot in my tutorials where I just do little grass blades by using the fade uh, um, adjustment here. So we'll do a little grass blades here, maybe like six or seven pixels, and then just kind of like draw some little grass blades over top of the pile, just so it looks like it's interacting with each other. You probably can't even tell. And if someone, if no one zooms in, they're probably not going to tell very much either. Just want to have a few little indications of grass blades interacting with this pile. especially right in here. It's a little bit taller grass right in here. So definitely some tall little blades going in there. Probably can't even tell much of a difference with that, but sometimes it's good to just add little grass blades to make it look like uh, it's interacting with its environment. Okay, let's go to the, um, let's go to our hole over here now. Let's work on our hole just a little bit more. It's a little bit too uh, clean, I guess you would say. So we want to make it just a little bit um, more precise, I guess. So I'm just going to make it look just a little bit more random, I guess. Go get the rid of that ladder just so I don't have to see it right now. And we'll make it just a little bit smaller. Okay, I think that's fine for our hole. And then I'm going to go back and do that, that uh, uh, grass blades again, where I um, change our fade back. Okay, so there's our little grass blade. Let's do about 10 pixels or so, or a little bit yeah, 10 pixels. And we're just going to do little grass blades right here where the um, where the, uh, the hole is right beside the grass. And so I do want to have some like little grass blades going, you know, this way and that way. So it looks like, you know, it's, it's been dug out. So we have little grass blades going everywhere. Not too many, but just, you know, a few here and there. Makes it look like it's not, you know, perfectly cut with a saw. It was actually dug out, and you see all these little blades on the, the corners and the edges and stuff like that. All right, and grass blades are very random. They they go in all different directions. So, you know, try to make it look as organic as possible. Okay, so there's our little hole. And what I'm going to do to fill that hole, I'm actually going to go back to my, my dirt picture. And I'm going to bring it in here and let's put it right on top of our hole. And I'm, I, think, I think I'm going to turn it upside down. Edits, transform, vertical, and we'll make it a little bit smaller. I think something like that would probably work. Do you want to make it look like it's going down? You might find a better picture to like, you know, to to fill this, but I think something like that's fine. Something like that. Okay. 
but it needs to be darker in certain spots. So let's make another layer on top of that. We'll get a gray color and we'll just do a little multiply on it in certain spots. So it's probably gonna be pretty dark, like right in here, but it's also gonna be dark, like right at the edge. So kind of like right in here. But definitely down here at the bottom. The further you get down into it, it's going to be harder to see. Something kind of like that. Actually, let's make it like really dark right here. Okay, so there's our little hole. Digging into it. Got lots of dirt everywhere. Let's see. Let's make it Let's make it just a little bit brighter here on one side. So I'm just going to do a little overlay here or maybe a soft light. All right, so if we back up and look at it, there's our hole. There's our dirt. All right, so now let's go ahead and work on that ladder. Ladders are actually pretty easy to make. There's our little painting, but the, the painting, that doesn't look very good. But uh, all you want to do for a ladder, essentially, is we're going to draw a, a line here. Just gonna draw a line and then I'm going to fill it with a, I don't know, a brown. Is that good enough? I don't know if that's good enough. That's probably good enough. All right, and then just duplicate that and now we have um, two of these. I'm probably going to move it right here. Perfect. And then what we'll do is we'll just make little um, little rungs as well. So let's just make a few little ladder rungs. They don't have to necessarily be exactly the same. It can be more like a, a makeshift little ladder. Kind of like that. And then fill that also on its own layer. There you go. Now there's our little ladder. Get rid of this. Oops. Let's do it. Now we gotta figure out what the best place to do it is. I'm thinking like right, right there is probably good. Right there. Okay, so we'll call these our rungs. I think they're called rungs. And then we'll put these two in one layer and we'll call these our ladder edges. And uh, this is pretty simple. We're just gonna do a, um, we're just gonna add some highlights onto it. And um, just add a little bit of highlights. We could do like a little, um, we could do like a little charcoal brush if you wanted to. Kind of like that. And then let's add a little bit of shadows as well. The thing with these charcoal brushes is they are so thick sometimes. So you want to make sure it's not overpowering. And then as we get further down into the actual hole, 
they're going to need to get even darker. Let's go ahead and get rid of that ladder. Okay, so as they get into the actual hole, they're going to have to get, you know, significantly darker. So we want to make sure that down here we don't have as many highlights. We have more have more shadows than we have anything else. So right in there looks good like that. But maybe just a little bit of highlight. I could just go get a picture of a ladder. That'd probably be easier, wouldn't it? It's okay. Okay, so that, that looks fine for now. I might work on it in a minute. And then I go to your rungs. Same thing. Just get a nice little highlight here for the top. This is where you're going to step at. And then get some nice little shadows for the bottom, especially down here on that last little step. It's going to be pretty dark. But definitely on the bottom. The bottom's not going to have a lot of light, so you want to make sure that that bottom part of the, the rungs are, are fairly dark. Okay, once you have it, that's not a bad ladder. Once you have the ladder pretty much the way you want to, what I like to do is just go ahead and blend them all together, and then I do even more... Um, adjustments to it. So then after I've already, you know, done the individual pieces, then I'll actually go and do even more, especially where, where the ladder and the rungs meet, just kind of paint a little bit more on there, add some little shadows where they need to go. And But that's up to you. You know, if you want to just go get a picture of a ladder, certainly that would be okay. All depending on what you are comfortable with doing but I like to try to paint new things every once in a while and so painting ladders are not too hard All right, we about done with this one. I think we're just about done with this one. All right, so there's our little ladder. It is in our little hole. Probably, again, wants to make it just a little bit darker right down here. Very, very dark right here at the bottom. All right, that's good. Now, it's probably going to cast a shadow as well since it's, you know, the sun is setting. So it might not be a bad idea to, like, add a little bit of a ladder shadow, like right here. A little shadow where it's it's making contact with the ground, uh, but then you're going to want to just lower that opacity. It does not need to be very strong of a shadow at all. Just a little hint is really all you would need. Kind of like that. All right. So there's what we've got so far. We've got a dirt pile with a ladder out on it. Now, I do think that ladder, I think it needs, it feels like it's going just like straight down. And I don't like that so much. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of rotate it just a little bit. 
So it looks like it's leaning. I want it to like lean on the edge, if that makes sense. I want it to lean on the edge of this, this grass right here. So I'm going to stick it right there, and I'm going to put a little shadow underneath it where it's like resting up against there. There. Now it looks a little bit better like that. I think it's like resting up on... resting up on the actual grass there. And then we'll have to mess with our, our, our shadow as well. Our shadow needs to, to change as well. So kind of like that. All right. That looks pretty good. Now, as I'm looking at it, I think I'm going to change my sunset. I don't like my sunset as much. So let's go back to here. Let's get another sky picture. Let's try this one. I don't know if this one's going to be any better or not, but let me try this one. Go all the way down to your your sky picture and just clip it to it. How does that look? It's not bad. I don't know. I think I like that bright sun from this one. Maybe if I just like multiplied this one. Or overlay, multiply. All right, what if I multiplied it and then got rid of this part? So I'd still get a little bit more detail up here in the sky. All right, let me look for pictures just one more time. Did we do this one? I don't know if we did this one. Let's try this one. The reason I'm trying to get this picture right now is because we're getting ready to blur it, and uh, I want to make sure that I'm happy with it before we actually get that far. That's not a bad option either. All right, I think we're going to just leave it kind of like that. Do one more. All right, I think something like that. So I'm just combining a bunch of sky images together to make sure I get the right one I want. I think that's going to look fine, just like that. It is making things just a little bit too bright here on the, on the actual pages. So I'm going to tone that down just a little bit. Just, just a little bit, not, not much. All 
All right, that's not bad. That's not too bad. All right, so this is the point where I'm starting to look at things and I'm just looking for problems. And uh, before I move forward, I'm going to blur that sky in just a minute. Just want to make sure we got our problems taken care of. I'm going to go to our pile group here. It's just one thing I don't like right now. I don't like how this pile is kind of like going down parallel to our edge of our book. So I'm just going to kind of tweak this a little bit. Kind of do that. Okay, so something like that. I think that looks a little bit more organic. And our grass on our image, I feel like that's just a little bit too grassy. It looks a little, just looks a little bit too, too vibrant. So I'm just going to get some blacks right in here like that. Like that shadow just needs to be a little bit more intense is kind of what I'm thinking. Okay. That's not bad. All right, so let's go ahead and blur our background. So we want to blur. Let's go ahead and put all of these into a group. And let's merge it and screen it. Okay, so here's our background. Remember we looked at the, the Bible earlier and it was it was blurry on the it was blurry on the um the edges because it's further away from the camera, right? So if it's further away from the camera, it's going to be blurry, which means our sky needs to be blurry as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to blur the background. A Gaussian blur is probably good enough, and but I'm not going to blur it a, a whole lot. I'm going to blur, blur it like 10 to 15 pixels, and I think that should be sufficient. Kind of like that. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. Now, I don't have any um, noise in it so because I just blurred it. So let's go ahead and add some noise back in. I'm just going to add 1% of noise, and I think that's going to that's gonna help out pretty good. All right, so now we are in the stage where we're going to start working on, like, color grade and uh, fine details um, and glows and stuff like that. And then we can finalize this project and uh, sometimes I spend like an hour or two just going over fine details. And I'm not going to do that for this tutorial because you would probably get very bored with that. But I do want to kind of show you my thought process on some of these. So like, for example, the ladder just looks a little bit too too rigid. Looks too It just looks too sharp. So I'm just going to go and get like a little brush here and just kind of smooth out some of these edges right here at the top that. That's just one little critique I have. You might like the sharp edges. Uh, and then I feel like it needs just a little bit of a brighter highlight right on the edges. So I'm just going to get a little highlight, especially right here on top, like right at the top of the ladder. I think it needs a nice bright highlight like this. And then we'll, we'll even have one going down. Nice highlight, like right here in the center of this ladder. Like that. And I think that looks just a little bit better. It, it might be nitpicky, but, you know, sometimes that's just what I like to do. And now I feel like we've lost our shadow down here. So let's try to get our shadow back. Some of these grass blades would also be in shadow just because it's kind of like going downhill. So I just want to make sure there's like some little shadows here. Does it look perfect? No. You know, it, these little grass blades, when you zoom in on them, they don't look perfect. But, you know, it's I didn't spend a whole lot of time on them. That looks a little bit better. Okay, so that was one little nitpicky thing. Now let's go ahead and work on a little bit of our glows. And so I'm going to get a big orange color here and just paint it right on top of our sun. 
like that. Change it to screen. Like a big, like that. Just making it, you know, kind of overpower the scene, how nice and bright it is. I think that looks good. Like that. All right, so let's go ahead and work on some color grade. I'm going to do a levels adjustment first. I'm going to make everything nice and dark like this. And then I'm going to mask out that levels adjustment, especially where the sun is at. So just want to make sure that the center, the, the center part of the screen is the, the most interesting. It's the brightest. That's where the eye is going to go. Right in here. Just like that. You can see the difference there. Just, just really creating that focal point right at uh, the center part of the screen. Okay. I'm going to work on some details again. I'm going to get a, a layer with just a little overlay. Just going to start drawing just little bitty details here and there. Little bitty grass highlights here, right on top of the dirt pile. Kind of like a dodging and burning. It's kind of what I'm doing here. Just little details. Oh, another thing I forgot to do is our grass layer is not blurry at the very tip. It should be blurry right there, remember? Because we're going all the way uh, to the end here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put all of these into a group. Merge these. Okay, so here's my grass layer. You can see I got my grass layer turned off and on. I just wanna make sure it's blurry right here at the edge. Because remember, you know, the. The, uh, the Bible page was blurry, so I'm just going to blur. Just I'm just using a blur tool. I don't have to get any, I don't have to get more fancy than that. Just a blur tool, and I just want to make sure that this grass is blurry as it gets further away from the camera. It's not even really that noticeable since it's being hidden by the, the dirt pile and the ladder and stuff, but I just want to make sure it's nice and blurry as it should be, like that, because it is going further away from the camera. There we go. That wasn't much of a, a difference there, but I uh, definitely want to make that blurry. And then I think also the, now that part's really sharp. So just the, just the end of the, uh, just the edge of the, uh, the grass there, I think should be blurry. Okay, now let's do some color grade. Let's try selective color. Let's go to our greens and let's play with them a little bit. So that doesn't do a lot. It's mainly our yellows that are our grass color. So we could make our grass nice and, you know, orange, yellowish color if we want, or we can make them a lot greener. Um, I'm thinking we're going to make it... Something like that looks fine. Let's go to our neutrals. Okay, what I'm thinking we should do, let's try to make our sky nice and blue, or no, let's, let's see if we do this. If we make our sky nice and blue, but then we mask out where the grass is at. Don't know if that's gonna be good or bad. No, nah, I don't like that so much. Okay, so I think I do like the warmer tones rather than the cooler tones, uh, which is fine. So gradient map, let's try this one. Let's try that purple color. That's not bad. I think that's just a little bit too intense. Let's take that down just a little bit. Okay. I don't really know exactly what direction we're going to go in here. It could be a lot of different directions we could go. We could do more of the greenish color or the more of the purple color. 
just really depends what you want. Could leave it just like that, though. That's not bad. Uh, let's see. One more. Let's try to make our sky even more orange. Like that. But then let's make our... Let's get a little bit of a blue shadow down here. Don't think that's really that significant. Okay, so not much of a color grade for this one. So that's before and after. That's just not, that's not really that significant. Um, as I'm looking at this, the only other things I would do is I feel like my, um, I feel like some of my dodging and burning on the, the pile right here are not very accurate. So I do want to go back and just kind of fine tune that just a little bit. There's like really not going to be any light down in here. So we need to make sure there's just not really any light getting to this part right here. They are right on top of this little ridge here, but they're not getting down here. So I want to make sure that those look appropriate. Like that. All right. All right, I think we are just about done with this one. We could we could tinker with it more. We could make some more, you know, details and everything like that. But I think I think we're pretty much done here. Um, the good thing is we have all these layers. You see how many layers we got? We can always go back and change the sky. So this is the sky layer that we have. But we can always go back and change that sky. We can even change the grass. We can make little changes here and there. So, you know, you can always, you have that freedom to go and change as many things as you need to change. But I think overall this looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. Um, let's go ahead and do a sharpening at the end. So control alt shift and E on a brand new layer is going to bring everything together. And then I like to go to filter other and high pass. We'll use about three pixels and then we'll change that to overlay. And uh, that's nice and sharp. If you want to get super sharp, you can go to like linear light and then it's just like obnoxiously uh, sharp. So I don't know if that's what you want to do, but uh, overlay is probably good enough. But guys, that's all I've got for today. This was about a 45, 50 minute tutorial. I hope that you enjoy it. Um, and uh, go, you know, go download these images on Unsplash or Pixabay. I have several of these images online you can use or use your own pictures or, you know, choose which ones you want to use. Uh, but really fun to add little uh, scenes on top of uh, a book or any other household object that you might have. In this case, it's a Bible. But I hope that you enjoy it. Have fun. And I can't wait to see what you guys can create. Have a good one, guys.